Your baby birds just fledged the nest box and you're wondering whether you should clean the whole nest box out or leave the nest inside for the next batch. You might think that by leaving the old nest, this might save the mother bird some trouble. The old nest is there, so in theory, she wouldn't have to build another one if she were to have another set of babies. Or maybe you're not sure if the baby birds come back to the nest after they fledge. But on the other side of all of this is the health considerations. After a single round of nesting, things get a little messy in that nest box. Aside from answering the main question of whether or not to clean out the nest box after the babies fledge, I'll also answer some of the other related questions like, do the baby birds come back? Does the mother bird reuse the nest? As many related topics as I can think of to pretty well cover it. So let's get right into it. And I'll just start by saying that standard practice is that you would clean the nest box out after the baby birds have fledged. And there are several reasons behind that. Before I discuss those reasons, I wanna briefly talk about the level of cleaning necessary. After your birds have fledged, take a look at the nest box. If it's really, really clean, no sign of bugs, it's probably safe just to do a really good dry brush out, but you can use soap and water if you want. I wanna stress that when cleaning the boxes out, even if the birds kept things pretty tidy, consider wearing gloves. Heck, I'm a fan of even wearing a mask. And absolutely wash your hands very thoroughly after you're done. If you notice poo left in the box or berry stains or bugs or anything like that, I would advise a good deep cleaning soap, water, and either a solution of vinegar or 10% bleach. After you thoroughly wash and thoroughly rinse the messier box, give it ample time to dry before resetting it back on the pole. Some immediate follow-up questions you might have is how soon after the birds fled should I clean it out? And if the nest box isn't messy, why shouldn't I just leave the old nest? For the first follow-up question, I would clean out the box pretty soon after the birds fledge. If you're hosting bluebirds, they usually have multiple sets of babies. So if you're early in the nesting season, like it's May or June, there's a good chance that they're going to get ready to have another nest. The margin of time you have between fledging and when Mama Bluebird wants to start working on her next nest really varies from bird to bird. Usually there's about five to seven days, but every bird is different. It could be two days later that she's carrying nesting material back to the box, or it could be two weeks later that she's finally ready to start nesting again. This is why I would get your nest box cleaned and reset sooner than later. Maybe you were hosting chickadees. Typically, black-capped chickadees and Carolina chickadees only have one brood per year. Once they're done with a nest box, they're done with it for the whole season. But what you might find is that another cavity nesting bird was interested in that nest box. I had a set of chickadees fledge one year and a pair of bluebirds were eyeing the nest the whole time the chickadees were raising their young. I cleaned out the nest box the next day after they fledged and within two hours of resetting the nest box, a bluebird started to build her nest. So this is another reason to be quick about it. If you can't get around to it, what will happen is a bird will just build a nest on top of a little nest. And it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just better if you can get it cleaned out. And that brings me into the second question follow-up question, and that's if the bird's nest wasn't really all that messy, why would you pull out any existing nesting material and clean out the nest box? After all, wouldn't it save the birds a lot of time and energy just to leave the nest? There's good logic in that way of thinking too. Nest building requires a significant amount of energy and a lot of trips gathering nesting material, placing it in the nest box, and then shaping it to get it just right. But there are a few reasons why birders try to pull out the old nest and let the mother bird build a new nest. The first is that she's going to do it anyway. As the baby birds get older, they start to depress the nest or compress it more. It's nowhere near as fluffy as it once was. And so if this is the mother's next set that she's working on, that's one of the reasons she's still going to bring nesting material to the box, usually anyway. The problem with this is that a layered nest gets really tall in the nest box. Sometimes newer bluebirds can't tell what kind of nest they're even looking at. And that's because it gets taller than usual and they can confuse it with a house sparrow nest because it starts to get messy too. But the real issue with these taller nests is that it raises nestlings, eggs, and the mother closer to that entry hole, making it easier for reaching predators to grab hold of them and turn that nest box into a lunch box. So pulling out the old nesting material and letting her start all over again is a protection measure. Plus, she's still going to put a lot of energy into freshening it up anyway. The second reason for pulling out the old nest is something I mentioned already. 
If you're hosting a bird species that only has one brood per year, a new cavity nesting species might be interested in that box and will still build their own nest. Each bird builds their own nest type specific to their species. So it would be really unusual, not impossible, but really, really unusual for a tree swallow, for instance, to use an old chickadee nest. Instead, what the mother tree swallow will do is build her nest on top of the old chickadee nest if it wasn't removed. And now we face that same problem I mentioned just a moment ago of the nest getting too tall and becoming more of a risk. The third reason we would still want to pull out the old nesting material is for health reasons. And it lets us bird landlords evaluate the box and refresh some of the other measures that we take, like reapplying soap to the roof of the nest box to prevent wasps. Even though the nest didn't look all that messy, remember there's a world of unseen microbes and small insects, and so it's safer to really dust out that old box or wash it out completely so that the next set of babies thrive. If you're newer to hosting a native cavity nesting bird, you might wonder if the baby birds come back to the nest box after they take that first flight. And that question might also lead you to want to leave the nest alone in the nest box. Typically, fledged songbirds do not return to their nest. The first flight is not just a first flight, it's moving day for these babies. Once they leave the nest, they venture into that bird world. And don't worry, the parents look after them and show them how to be a bird and what the territory looks like and how to find food. On really rare occasions, bluebird fledglings have been observed trying to fly back into the nest box. This is usually when they're trying to follow mama for whatever food she has, or they're just curious. But they aren't going back in because they're using the nest or anything like that, so you have no reason to worry about destroying a baby bird's crib. If it's late in the nesting season, and by late I mean it's late August or getting into September, the question about cleaning the box gets a little more complex. Now that things are coming to an end, is there really a reason to clean it out? Or you might even wonder if you should leave the nest box out at all since the birds are done using it. Let me tell you what I do and I'll say that each bird host is different in their process when the nesting season is over. So this is just what I do. Depending on location, bluebirds are a cavity nesting species that can have two to four broods in a nesting period. Where I'm at, it's usually an average of three broods for the bluebirds and by August they're wrapping up their final nest. So once that set leaves, I give the box a thorough cleaning, even if it looked pretty neat and tidy. I'll clean it and disinfect it and everything. And then after cleaning it all out, I'll leave the box out for the fall and winter. I do this because cavity birds will sometimes use the box as a night roosting site. Usually this isn't going to happen in the late summer or early fall, but by October, there will be some birds resting there for a few nights to keep warm. And keeping a clean box out for the winter can be very important, especially for migrating populations coming from the far north into the south. This lets them have a protected spot to stay the night, and it can be significantly warmer than just roosting outside in bare trees. When the weather is going to get really cold, I may take some measures to insulate the box as well, but that's a whole other topic all on its own. The point is that after the final set fledges, there's still a lot of reasons to thoroughly clean the box and leave it out for the remainder of the year. Once the season starts back up and the birds are scouting again, I'll do another thorough cleaning and reset everything. I know that this was the long way around to answer that, but hopefully you found it pretty helpful.